Hi everyone. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about the turning effect of force. Okay, let's see a small activity. So here I have a ball. I kept here and I just applied a force. So what happened to the ball? The ball travelled in a straight line. So more straight line. Right? No? Okay. So that means the entire body is free to move. When I applied the force, the entire body is free to move. Now, the same ball, I'm going to keep it here and I'm using a nail. Okay. I'm using a nail and I simply just made it as a point. I'm going to fix a point on the ball. Right? Okay. So now I'm going to apply a force on this ball like previous one. We'll see what happens. Okay. So I just made this ball as fixed one. Then I applied a force. What happened to the ball? The ball is not moving in straight line. When I applied a force, it started rotating around this point, around this nail. Consider this nail as the midpoint or fixed point. Okay. So, in this condition, when I applied a force, what happened to the ball? The ball started moving or rotating around this point. Okay. Consider inside this ball, there is a point and at that point, uh, the ball is fixed one. And see my fingers. Through these fingers or through the position of the fingers, uh, uh, an axis is passing. So, when we apply the force, actually the ball is fixed at the inside point. When we apply the force, the ball is rotating around that point or through an axis. So that axis, we used to call it as axis of rotation. And the point where the ball is fixed, we used to call it as pivoted point. Pivoted point. Okay, so if a body is pivoted at a point, instead of a straight line motion, if you apply a force, the object will turn around the axis. Axis means the line which is passing through the pivoted point. In this case, you can consider my up and down figures as the axis of the point, middle point. Okay, or simply like if you consider the case of earth, Earth always rotate around the axis, right? No? So, there also that rotation also we can consider it as turning effect. So, when the object is uh, rotating or turning around the pivoted point, we used to call it as turning effect of force. Now, we will see the factors affecting. There are mainly two factors which affect the turning point. First one, the force acting on the body. Okay. The force acting on the body in a perpendicular direction or normal direction. Okay. Second one, the perpendicular distance from the pivoted point point to the place where we are applying the Force. Okay, the perpendicular distance between the pivoted point and the uh, line of application of force. So, these are the two important factors which depends upon the turning effect. Okay, so just consider this as a door. Okay, just consider this as a door. So, door we know that there will be hinges at this position. Right, there will be hinges at this position. And the way we used to apply the force Always we used to, there will be handle here. So we used to apply force from here. Right? No? So this is the place where we are applying the force. The force acting on the surface normally. Okay. The force acting on the surface. Either if you want to close it means we need to apply force here in that direction. If you want to open it means we are applying force in that direction to open it. Okay. Right? No? Then what is the perpendicular distance? This is the place, these are the hinges or this is the axis of rotation, right? 
So the perpendicular distance from here, we applied force here exactly. Yes, I will just mark it as if we are applying force here. This is the perpendicular distance. We have to take the perpendicular distance from the hinges or from the axis of rotation to the place where we have the handle. Okay. So force means what we are applying on this position. That is our first factor. Second factor, the perpendicular distance between the force, the place where we applied the force and the pivoted point or axis of rotation. In our day to day life, we have lots of application for the stalling effect. A simple example, the very uh, the common using example is of door. Right? No? Have you ever seen that the handle of the door is kept or uh, placed at the middle of the door? Never. Uh, if it is a single door, that means one side door, it will be at one end. If it is a door opening like this way also, on that particular door, it will be somewhat near, close near to the edge. What is the reason? Why can't we keep it at the middle? The reason is that if the perpendicular distance, the turning effect for a body is common. Okay, the turning effect of a body is common. So, if the perpendicular distance, if this distance is increasing, we need to apply a small force. Okay, if this distance is small, our effort is getting reduced. Right? Always the human beings are searching for something that we have to reduce our effort. Right? No? Okay. So, if the length, the distance between the force and uh, the pivoted point is more, we need to apply a less force. The magnitude of force should be less. Okay. So, that is the reason always we used to keep the handle at the edges of the door. And uh, you are very familiar with the steering. Right? No? Steering. I have a small toy steering here. For steering also, the middle point is always fixed to a point. It can rotate around a fixed one. Right? No? Now you just compare the steering of a car and a heavy trucks. Okay. If you see the steering of car and heavy trucks, the round the size of the steering is really big for tracks. What is the reason? So there the perpendicular distance between the pivoted point to the side of the steering is more. So the person who is driver, driver has to apply less because uh, the weight of the, the truck has to carry more weight. Right? No? So the turning effect of the truck is more comparing with the car. Oh, very simple things if you have uh, cycle in your home. All of you have cycle, right? No. Normally, how we are riding the cycle? We used to hold at the edges of the handle, right? No. Okay. So if you want to turn by holding the handle, edges of the handle, it's very easy for us to turn, right? No. Uh, today, do one thing when you ride the cycle, hold at the middle portion. We just want to hold on the handle. Hold very close near to the middle that pivoted point. That axis is there, you know. Then you try to turn it. Then you will feel how difficult it is comparing with the edges. Okay. Then uh, the porter's wheel. That we are very familiar. How they are making the port, right? No? It would be a big wheel and they will rotate it. Right? So there also, as the size of the wheel is increasing, he, the person need to apply less force. So it will start rotating. So by the time he can free with his, his hand and he can shake the port. Uh, carpenters, they are using a drilling machine. Right? No? So drilling machine also, he will be holding at one point and driller will be, uh, it will be rotating. So, as the perpendicular distance is increasing, the person has to apply less effort so he can finish, finish his work very faster.
if you see the screw and spanner okay so screw is a place where it is a, a pivoted point and spanner will be having little legs and where we used to hold it at one end of the spanner so as the length of the spanner is increasing we need to apply less force comparing with a small spanner then uh, our tap the tap which we use to open the water right no so there also turning effect is a little bit bigger handle is there it is easy for us to open it Uh, in olden days, now everything uh, replaced by mixer grinder. But olden days, people were using the stone grinder. Uh, one stone above the another stone. And on that edges of the stone, there will be a hole. So, they can rotate like this way. So, as the distance increases, the effort of the person to grind will reduce. And uh, you are using the cycle, cycle pedal. So the pedal is connected to the tire through a chain. So consider your pedal as the axis of rotation. And the other end, what we have to rotate, it is a tire. So as the chain distance is more, by applying less effort, you are able to make the movement of the tire very faster. So these are some of the examples where we need to or where we are using the turning effort to reduce our work. So uh, we can conclude one thing. As we increase the distance from the pivoted point to the application of force, we can reduce our effort. So force, the magnitude of force and the distance between the pivoted point to the force is the factors which depends upon the turning effect. If the second part is increasing, we can reduce our force or the magnitude of force. So find out more examples from your life wherever we require turning effect. Thank you.